All right, guys, I think it's time. We have uh, come quite a long way, and I think it's time to head to the nether. Nothing that I really want to do there. I just uh, want to head there. I don't know. What's in the nether these days? Uh, achievements. So, I mean, there's that. Um, all right. So, where are we? Is this, uh, is this one of them, uh, oh, oh, oh my, that's, uh, quite interesting, I think we got, a uh, we got a good, uh, good spawn here, I'm lagging quite a bit, though, it's my FPS, 780, oh, it just feels so laggy. Into fire. Blaze rods are important, I believe. That's definitely something that I want to make sure I grab a bunch of. So yeah, this entire area uh, seemed to just that. I mean, that's a dead end there. That's a dead end, and that's a dead end. So all we have right now is this little area with these blaze rods. But um, oh, come on. Oh shit. Oh, that was close. Got to eat. Okay, that one comes out there, this one comes out here. Okay. Alright. Except now, we have uh, more area to explore. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. How did he hit me through the block, dude? That's so fucking bullshit. Oh, that's so bullshit, dude. I'm so upset. Shouldn't be able to hit me through a block. Let's just take this and head back. Why are those uh, blazes spawning there? Is there a spawner somewhere? Oh, it might be like above there or something. They're not chasing. They are chasing me. Shit. Oh boy, this ought to be fun. Oh my god. Let me in. Okay. Um. Portal is right there. Uh, hello. Oh, there's also a ghast. Oh. Okay, I want to get. I want to kill these guys real quick. I don't want to jump off there, though, because, oh, no, and I fell. Oh, boy. There we go. All right. All right. What do we have? I don't actually know. I mean, I think the blaze rods are good enough in terms of our, uh, our spoils from here, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much I should be going for here before I head back. Really don't want to die and lose my pick here. That would suck. Oh, here it looks like some easy, easy quartz. Quartz is good for XP. We did have 27 uh, levels, but now we lost it all because um, because I got hit through a block, which is always lovely. But yeah, I think this is good for XP, so gonna need to gather that. I do want to enchant stuff. Oh, okay, I'm getting out of there. Oh, can I block that off? I can, okay. Yeah, before I uh, before I do anything else, I think I want to um, I think I want to get a little bit more prepared. I don't I do not think I came here well enough prepared. I can't even fight those wither skeletons. Oh, I hear a gas. I don't even have a bow. I can't even take care of gas besides just hitting their uh, fireballs back at them. So yeah, I think I need to be a bit more prepared. I do have to say, one of the things is uh, the music for the the Nether got like so much better. Like, I remember the music used to be so bad for the Nether, but yeah, this music is actually really good. I'm loving it. I wonder what the best way to um, make a farm for those blazes would be. I think I want to do that, considering it's like so close to my base. Also, I kind of wonder what those blocks are. Like those, I'm going to go check that out, I think. Okay, so this stuff here, 
Oh, it damages you. It's called a magma block. So I'm going to grab some of these. No idea if they are good, but I've never seen them before. So I'm just going to grab a few. Damages you when you step on them. I think I'm just going to leave that. Yes, okay, so I'm just going to grab a bunch more quartz then. I think we're going to uh, head back to the overworld for a bit uh, while we make some plans. Okay, so I see another one of those uh, wither skeletons. Um, want him to aggro on me. Not you. But I want the wither skeleton to aggro on me. And I want to bring him back here. One-on-one -on -one this time, buddy. Oh, come on. Hey, come on. I want to have a one-on-one -on -one with him. You don't have your buddies to help you out this time. Ah, there we go. Got him. He dropped coal and bones. Actually, you know, I think that this here is, like, really good, isn't it? We need this for all sorts of stuff, don't we? I have soul sand. Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm just going to grab this, and we'll probably make a farm in the overworld. Um, a flint and steel. Maybe that's in case you uh, get trapped in here or something. I don't know. Oh, my God. Another chest. I'm going to get lost at this rate. Oh, more diamond horse armor and a saddle. Sweet. Oh, found another chest with uh, two diamonds, golden sword. Actually, we don't need this many golden swords. We can leave those. I want to take these, though, and I'll have room. Okay, fuck you, golden sword. So actually, let's put it in the chest just for the future, in case we ever do come back here and find that. Because I don't know if I'm ever going to need them, but, you know. Definitely want the, uh, the brown mushrooms. They're more important than gold. And there we go. Back home. Home sweet home. So I think the goal, what, what we're going to do is, uh... Hmm. I don't actually know. I kind of want, want to make a blaze farm. Like an XP farm of some sort. I got quite a lot of stuff out of that. Um, let's see exactly what we got. So we, we got some nether brick, some nether rack. We got this magma block. I want to look into that. We got um, a bunch of golden stuff. Um, some glowstone, some blaze rods, some gold, some nether quartz. Um, we actually got a piece of coal. We got some saddles. Uh, three diamonds from that. Diamond horse armor. Um, golden horse armor, nether wart, um, we got two bones, we got some iron, we got a flint and steel, soul sand, and that's, that's it. Oh, and the nether brick fence. So I wanted to test out this, uh, magma cube block thing. Does this work like a cactus? Uh, no, it doesn't seem to work like a cactus. Does it hurt hostile mobs? What are they gonna do? In this situation, what are they gonna do? They will jump on it, and it will hurt them. That's all I wanted to know. So I can potentially use those blocks in, like, some type of killing thing. If I drop the zombies right on top of these blocks, and then maybe have a hopper underneath of it or something. Um, I believe hoppers can pick up blocks from underneath of something, right? Because that could be, like, a really good way of killing things. So what I wanted to test was to see, can a hopper... Pick something up from on top of a block. No, it cannot. It can only pick it up if it's right on top of it. Okay. So, how would we do that then? I wonder if a hopper minecart could pick something up from on top of a block. Oh. Well, it has to be right underneath. That's interesting. I have to have a track. And I'm just curious. If we did this, and then we put this here. Yes, a hopper minecart. Looks like it can, from on top of a block, grab the block. So that's probably uh, the basis of what we'll do for our, for our farm. Uh, for our mob farm. We'll probably uh, kill them using this. Pick up their items uh, with minecart. It's probably what we're going to do. Uh, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head to the nether. And I'm going to just flatten out that area out there. And, um, and we'll see what we can do uh, 
in terms of making a blaze farm. So let me just get some tools ready, and then we will go and do that. No, I already have sticks. I don't want to make any more sticks. Actually, guys, I've changed my mind just a little bit. Uh, what I actually want to do first is um, do some potion stuff because, uh, yeah, I thought that would be that'd be quite cool. Um, one of the potions that I believe you can make, um, I don't know exactly how to do it, but you can make a, if I remember correctly, a fire proof potion that means that I don't have to worry about those blazes um, killing me because they will uh, they won't be able to do any damage because I will be fireproof so I think what I need to do here is I need to get some glass which means I need sand I only have two sand no I have four sand so I don't think that that's enough sand so I'm gonna go get some sand and uh, and then I think we can can make some bottles and then we gotta get some water and well this is gonna be a long process i think okay guys so out of, after a uh, bit of research i have discovered that um the potion of uh, fire resistance requires us to kill some magma cubes so i think i need to do this in order to get a some potion of strength um which i can then add glowstone or redstone to change it to strength to or uh, make it more powerful. So let's try the glowstone, I think. I think this will give me strength potions. No, it gave me awkward potions. So what is this? Uh, what is this for? I don't know what this is for, but I think this is going to give me... Um... I think this is going to be a potion of strength, and then I can add this to it and make it strength 2. Um, I'm assuming. Yeah, there we go. Potion of strength, and then I give it this, and it'll be potion of strength 2. Got some strength 2 potions. Uh, now, I think we can, we can make other potions. Well, I mean, I know we can make other potions. So, the other things that we could make are, like, fire resistance. We could do, like regeneration or healing but those require like other things uh one of the things that we can do because we have sugar cane is we can do swiftness potions so what we do is we get sugar and then uh and then we just give it sugar i believe or no i think we need to do that first and then we do sugar all right guys we're back in the uh, the overworld now we uh just gotta do some restocking my uh, my sword is about to break I'm fighting a lot of those uh, those blazes as I've been making the um, uh, little farm area that we're going to set up. Uh, been collecting a lot of blaze rods though, which I think are going to be useful. I want to I want to farm it. I think it would be good for XP as well as um, blaze rods seem pretty important. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'm just sort of clearing out the area. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to uh, actually make the farm. But I believe that there's actually is a way to stop it from spawning while I'm working on it. And I'm going to try it out in just a second. I don't lag. Oh no. Oh no. See, this is awful for me to lag while I'm fucking, while a guy is shooting at me. Stop it. Oh God. Every time I come in here, I just lag so badly for just a little bit. And then it like fixes itself. Ow. Take care of those guys real quick. So yeah, the idea that I wanted to try was just like, actually just like destroy the place with torches. Like just put so many torches. Um, Cause it seemed to like make them spawn less when I did have torches there. You can die. Um, we'll just put a lot of torches everywhere. I hear something shooting at me. Oh, oh. Alright, I guess we're just going to use this for now. Oh, there he is. Hmm. I didn't know where he was. Alright, so let's try to get more torches. Yeah, it does not seem like they're spawning anything. I might just be getting lucky or something, but... From what I can tell... They're not spawning anything, so that is good. All right, so we're back at the base now. I, uh, I've been working quite a long time on the uh, the farm, but um, I have reached 30 levels now, so I've decided 
Gonna go with a diamond sword this time. Hopefully this is, uh, oh, wait, we need lapis. Forgot, keep forgetting. Gotta get some lapis lazuli. And, um, hoping we get something good. Knockback 2. Um, <clears throat> shit. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should do another pickaxe. I don't know. Don't know, uh, if I want lapis. Uh, sorry, if I want, to uh, knockback 2 on my pickaxe. Let's just go with another, uh, or, not on my pickaxe, on my sword. Let's just go with another one of these. Silk Touch, okay. So, efficiency 4 and Silk Touch. That's really good. No one breaking. And I don't think that we can combine these because... Oh, that would only cost 7. That would give me... Yeah, because you can't have Fortune and Silk Touch. Yeah. Can't have both of them. So, yep, well... I'm gonna actually use that. Uh, it's like a good pick. I'm gonna keep the sword away though. I wanna try it again once I reach 30 levels again. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to working on the the thing. And Silk Touch, what can we get with Silk Touch? Anything good? I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna go get some uh, some more glass because I've been needing some glass for this, uh, this mob farm. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be back. Hey guys, I am back and uh, I've spent way, way too much time on this. But, uh, I have finally, uh, finished the blaze farm. It's, uh, it's quite simple. Basically, they just spawn here. And then they fall down, as you can see. Sometimes they get stuck on top of the spawner itself. Oh, it seems like one is dying. Oh. Looks like some of my, uh, redstone was not done correctly. Uh, gonna have to fix that. The idea is, is that you do this. And, uh, bring him down to just below dead. And then you can hit them once and pick up their blaze rods. That's the idea. And also get the XP. Um, fortunately, I broke it somewhere. So I'm gonna have to fix that. But I will fix that and then I will be right back. Alright, guys. I am back. And, uh, we looky here. We got a few. So let's, uh... Let's take care of these guys. I'm going to turn my volume down just a bit. That's pretty loud. And, uh... Yeah, we should be able to just whack at them a little bit. And, uh, and there we go. We could, we could just whack at them, or we could, uh, we could use the, the crusher, which should, should be the perfect timing to be able to kill them. So this should give us plenty of XP for everything that we're going to need pretty much ever. Um, and yeah, this place is pretty much done now. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we should have XP. Now, it's getting really, really late. I mean, in fact, it's, like, light outside now, so it's a bit past late. But, um, I gotta head to bed. It's way past my bedtime. So, uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. And I will see you next time. Bye bye